All right, so I want to talk about Google Ads Insights. Looks like they just rolled this out um, and they're rolling it out globally. So what does this mean for you as an advertiser or someone running Google Ads? When we take a look at this, I mean, this is what, so after several months of teasing and testing out rolling betas, new insights pages live, and um, basically makes you, makes easier. Like if you're running an e-commerce shop, uh, it's gonna tell you trending keywords. It's basically Google Trends, but it's, it's kind of being proactive and saying, hey, um, your site is selling mostly dog stuff, so we're, we're gonna recommend other keywords you should be targeting, right? It's good for you as a store owner because you might not be aware of the latest trends, and so you can jump on it quickly. It levels the playing field a little bit, and so you can see here, it says with the insights page, you can see rising demand for dog subscription boxes and dog toys. You can you can then act on these trends by creating campaigns to reach new pet owners or even explore selling dog care packages. So perhaps you can create new product lines as well. The insights page surfaces trends tailored to your business. So you can see if you're keeping up with demand for trending products or services, here's what it looks like. So, okay, let's take a look at this. So running shoes is trending compared to last week. So again, to me, this is this is Google Trends on steroids, right? If you think about Google's incentives here, they want you to be spending more. They want you to be running more ads, right? Because they got to make more money for their shareholders. Um, and at the same time, too, it's it's getting more competitive. You know, we're talking about kind of the, the 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 wars between Apple versus Google, right? Versus like tracking is changing over time. And uh, but at the same time, you know, like the Facebooks, the Googles of the world, they still need to protect um, their ad revenue coming in. So they're coming up with new new ways, new product features like this. Um, bicycles is trending to uh, versus last month. Okay, this is interesting, right? You know, when you have data like this presented and it, it's front and center for you, you're gonna be able to make decisions. I think the next step after this is letting the computers make decisions for you. Like, so you see running shoes is trending compared to last week. Okay, what's gonna happen next is saying, hey, would you like us to start a campaign or create a campaign for you based on this data? And then boom, all of a sudden the, the campaign is created. I, I think the next step beyond this, the, the progression will be, hey, I actually like this. Like, would you like to start a campaign? You would click that and then boom, here's a campaign setup. Um, do you approve this? And then you hit boom, right? You, and then you accept it. I think we'll get to a certain point where everything's just being ran by Google. I think actually um, we're gonna see the agencies have to evolve over time or maybe even the agency gets cut out of all of this, right? Because the machines are gonna get so good at, at optimizing these over time. The one thing that's really gonna set machines apart from the human beings is still gonna be the creatives, right? The, the humans are still gonna have to come up with really, really good creatives. But I think with the optimization piece, we're gonna see that uh, get taken away more from humans, right? So th that's where I see things shifting long term, we're gonna see a lot more AI come into play here, right? And, and so we're, we're kind of seeing it here too. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think is the opportunity here that maybe I'm not seeing. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and we'll catch you later.